Hello and welcome to Drinking Irish and we're doing a brewery tonight which I've been meaning to do since we started but like I say so often in these videos there's a lot of breweries to get through, there's a lot of beer to get through and uh, you know we have to you know take our time sometimes to get to the breweries we really want to do but one of the mainstays, they've been around about a decade of Irish brewing from the southeast Dungarvan Brewing Company and today we are doing Minehead which is their uh, classic American style pale ale and yeah, I'm, I'm expecting plenty here. I'm expecting plenty. They are recommending it, by the way, with a lighter fish, earthy meats such as lamb or beef, or with a spicy thigh dish. I'm having it with an Aldi spice box. <coughs> the spice box isn't pictured because it's uh, not even actually in the oven yet. I'm just going to have the beginnings of this beer and then I'll finish it off with my dinner. Oh my god. That happened. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wow. This may not be live, it may be YouTube, but uh, yeah, this is going to take a minute to fix up, so let's have a chat about the joys. Maybe this is Dungarvan cursing me for uh, besmirching their beer by having it with uh, a spice box from Aldi and not a higher quality spice box, who knows. But yeah, it did say to store upright, by the way, and it's been stored upright for quite a while. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's well, thank goodness my bedroom floor is already a disaster. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'd be worried about the smell it would leave behind. We're our current state of a uh, salvage head. Uh, we'll let this settle for a few minutes, and then we'll get back to business. But I suppose, talk about the beers, it actually does give me time to talk about the beers coming up this week, or more accurately, when you're going to know them. The short answer is, Tuesday morning, I'll tweet them all out. Uh, I'm going to do the list together this evening, uh, Monday night. I'll list out the beers uh, tomorrow morning on my Twitter. And uh, oh, I think it's seven different breweries this week. I'm pretty certain there's in seven ones we haven't done yet. I've got to double check that. There may be one retread purely because of the beer itself. But I'm almost certain it's seven breweries we haven't done yet. So that should make things a little bit uh, creative and interesting. And again, getting more Irish beer in. And of course, a big thing with this show is we're trying to cover as many breweries as possible. So again, in the comments, even if you see this on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, wherever, a bit of comments here are always great. Uh, please be sure to let us know what beers you want to see me try and possibly not do this to, you know. Uh, you know, or possibly do this to. Maybe you want to see me destroy a beer. I'm just going to pour a bit more in, even though it's going to increase the head for the time being the way I'm doing it. But that's purely because I want to just get a bit more out of the bottle. Uh, make sure we're beyond any uh, dangerous phase of matters. It's not too much spilled. I'd say it's only about a mouthful there, really, that actually ended up on the ground in the end. Uh, so we are in an interesting part here. But... Look, it's Monday. We are going to be surprised a bit. I've had an interesting work day. I've just been uh, getting stuff out to some of the people who work with me and listen to some calls and joining in with some other stuff and uh, also reviewing a gadget, which you'll be able to find out all about this weekend in the Business Post. And uh, yeah, it's been keeping me busy. It's been keeping me busy. I have yet to see the Michael Jordan documentary, which I know a bunch of you are wondering, has he bothered watching it today? No, I was too busy during the daytime to watch the Jordan documentary, but I plan on watching the two episodes tonight before I go to bed. Uh, the flatmate is thankfully a bit of a basketball fan, so it won't be a hard sell. Uh, thank fuck for that. And uh, yeah, you were nowhere near settled enough to even think of having a sip. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe, no, no, no. I, had a, I didn't, hadn't looked when I was thinking, maybe it's time to sip. It's not time to sip yet. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll let it get there. I'm going to put the bottle down for a second. I'm actually going to show the bottle again, just so you can see. Great beer. Despite what I did to it, great beer. Uh, but the Crew and Garvin, I've been talking with them ever since I started writing about beer. I've been drinking them since before then as well. And they're lovely, lovely folks, just absolutely. Make some great beers. Comrade Challenger is, I think, still the only bitter that's pretty much put out at all by an Irish brewery. Bitters are very, very hard to make. And uh, because of that, you don't see too much of them because, you know, we've got small batches here, obviously, and it's not really a style that's enormous in Ireland, unfortunately. Which really annoys me because I many many years ago lived in the UK and developed a bit of a love for it, and it's as a style just one I'd love to see more of over here because it's a great full flavour obviously, but also manages to sort of not be not do do that at a fairly low alcohol base, and it's such a great drink year round, summer, winter, whatever. Although personally I prefer it in the summer, it's it's a great drink, and I'd like to see more bitter really on the Irish market, but uh. Right, we're gonna give this a go. Uh, I'm not gonna even pretend I'm getting anything in the nose. It's so much fun to get through here, but we'll have a sniff here and then we'll give it a nose afterwards. I know we're doing it the wrong way around, but we'll live with it for one night.
some sweet malts coming through what was initially a little bit of bitterness yeah yeah I'm liking this sort of you know big bang type mood to it Sort of a bit of a biscuit and caramel vibe going on here, which is really good. Uh, I actually think this will actually go great with Ali Spice Box in all seriousness, despite the uh, obvious anger I caused in this beer by saying what it was going to be paired with. But yeah, uh, of the things they listed on their own stuff, uh, I think lamb is the best ideal pair pairing for this, though. Um, I think it would really work well with that. And um, yeah, um, I think that, you know, it's, it's a good, it's, it's in terms of sort of the offsetting flavors I think lamb is your best bet here um, but again it's another cracker like Dungarvan have been amongst their more reliable I had a black rock the other night I know not on camera I do have the odd beer not on camera mostly only on weekends though uh, and uh, hmm. that's good despite what I did to it anyway Slanchalive Galera